Hello viewers of this video and welcome back to the Redstone Innovation Channel. This is the second recording. Uh, anyways, we're here in the Snapshot uh, snapshot special video. Pre-release. Pre-release video. Um, uh, yeah, so we're in the... Uh, okay. Uh, we're in the... I'm just going to call this series the Snapshot Special. Uh, basically what we're doing is we're going through the 1.4 pre-release, we're going through interesting things we found, as well as the updates and changes they made, um, and it looks like Salulance is having fun making sand dupes, even after they fix repeater timing changes. Anyway, so we got the cool stuff that you've heard about before, I'm sure. Um, the beacon blocks, um, you make a giant tower of uh, uh, emerald, diamond, gold, or iron blocks and then it gives you this giant beacon uh, which will give you superpowers and yeah and then we got command blocks which are a great addition for adventure maps and here we got it set up to uh, hooked up to a binary counter and what this will do is automatically set the time to 3000 uh, every time this binary clock uh, flips over basically you'll see it uh, flip over in the chat um, as we go through this video. Alright, so one of the newer additions in the later snapshots is uh, the addition of repeater locks. So let's just pretend this doesn't exist for a moment. And you can activate this piston normally um, with this lever. However, if you place a repeater going into the side of this repeater, you get what's a, called a repeater lock. So when you power this repeater, the power, you, when you power the side of this repeater with a repeater, it'll lock the state. It'll lock the current state of this repeater. Um, yeah. So you can see here now that it's locked, it cannot be powered. Um, however, if you power it and depower this, it'll be powered. And then likewise, you can lock it on. So you can depower this, and you lock the state of this repeater in in the on state and then you can unlock it like that uh... this is pretty cool you can there's a whole bunch of different um, uses for this a uh, whole bunch of logic and stuff and right here i would appreciate it if you didn't sir <laughs> um, here we got a falling edge monostable um, basically the idea is that when you depower this it'll Turn on that piston for one tick, spit the block up. However, um, for some reason this works, like it, it shouldn't technically with these timings. So this repeater should have to be on two, but it does work on one. But the idea is that this repeater is locked and is powered at the same time. Um, and then for some reason when you depower it, it, dude, come on. God, geez. Then for some reason, when you depower it, it'll unlock this first and then send the power through. However, that is not reliable. We have seen it not work before, so I'd recommend setting that to two. Which brings us to our next point about weird repeater glitches. Um, here we've, we see a one tick repeater clock. Uh, we're just going to start up with this monostable. And you can see here we've got a huge mess of results. Um, basically, if you take power from this line, now repeaters will give you different signal lengths based on where they are, what orientation, and all that. So you can see here it goes directly through this redstone into the piston. It works fine as it should. However, when you put it through a repeater in this location, in this orientation, it'll have the amount of of signals going through it, which really sucks. Um, then, you can see here in this location, in this orientation, it goes through a repeater and it turns on the piston the correct amount of times, um, the correct amount of ticks. And then again we see here, repeater going off to the right, it halves the amount of ticks and it's the same as this piston here. So really weird stuff. We're gonna do more testing on it, but it's it's gonna break a lot of things. Um, Hold on, there's more actually. And there's, there's more. this one. Yeah. Um, 
So let's see if you find a repeater that will send the correct amount of ticks through to this piston here. If you put a repeater after it, this repeater will never update. It will never turn off. And we don't know why. We have no idea why. But that's just a solid signal on, even though it should be blinking on and off. Really yeah, weird doesn't stuff. Doesn't update it. It's 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 gonna be a mess. Um, hopefully they fix it before the official release of 1.4. Anyways, let's just connect that for now. Uh, we're gonna move on to uh, the anvils, 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 um, which are pretty cool. They allow you to repair items and name them using experience and tools. And normally, you can see here they cannot be pushed with a piston. However, they can be pushed when they're falling. Uh, watch closely. <laughs> this piston was uh, pushed this anvil over while this anvil was falling, which is a really weird glitch. You can see the setup here. This piston would be here. Let's just grab this. This piston is powered, and then by this redstone. The blazing sound. And then, <laughs> and then on the falling edge, after a bit of delay, uh, that piston fires and then pushes the anvil over. So, weird stuff going on there. Then here, I'm not really sure what you did, Wintag. Um, um, if, so, by default, it goes like this, right? Just pushes the piston, pushes the anvil while it's falling. But, if you add redstone right here, a tick after the bottom piston fires up, the side piston fires, and it basically breaks the anvil. So, Bizarre I have no stuff. idea why it does it. Hey, Just you should hey, run a test real quick. Can an anvil be destroyed by TNT explosions? Mm. Yeah, that's, mm. that's mm. Lol. Anyways, then finally, um we've actually seen this bug before back in 1. 1. 1.3 pre-release. But basically, after they changed the piston timings, uh, what you're what you're able to do now is basically swap the location of these two blocks. So this block will end up above the sand. Watch closely. So we're just gonna start up this uh, this clock this clock here with a piston mono stable. Did it break? Uh, it's, it looks fine, but it moved quite a bit. Hmm. Odd. Anyway. So you pushed it around with TNT. Mm. Fair enough. Okay. So basically, what we see here, start the clock, and look at that. The iron block swap places with the sand block. Really weird stuff. And that wasn't true before, I think. I might run a test. Anyways, yeah, that's it for the snapshot special, I guess. Have anything left to say? Um... Message to Jeb, if they keep changing redstone like this, not just like glitch-wise, but they're making it easier and easier like in every new snapshot. There's going to be a point where it stop, it's going to be, it's going to stop being interesting and I'm going to quit one day. Yeah, sad um, thought. Yeah, and I'm just going to say that this repeater glitch really scares me actually. Um, it's kind I, of just like torches, insanely unreliable. Yeah, before repeaters were the most reliable way of inducing delay, and now it looks like after they fix the torch bug, torches are going to be more reliable. Which, oh god. <sighs> yeah. The so pistons are more reliable. Ooh. No, they changed the pistons. Remember? Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is the Redstone Innovation Channel. We hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, we thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to check out our past stuff, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Yeah.